Good day, and here we are once again with Let's Play Aliens vs. Predator 2! And we have just escaped the pods as the Predator. And one thing I did not mention in the prior episode is that I may, in May, may do a Bioware month at some point. Why? Because I like Bioware games. And I've already picked four games that may be done, and I passed up the door, didn't I? That may be done. Uh, that's gonna be Mass Effect 1, Dragon Age 1, Boulder's Gate 1, although I haven't played it. And, hey, it's Boulder's Gate right now! Ah, ha ah, ah, that's lame. But yeah, I have not played Boulder's Gate 1. Oh yeah, this is probably where it's gonna be a bunch of xenomorphs. If I'm not mistaken. And finally, uh, KOTOR 1. Although, I'm gonna do KOTOR 1 a bit differently. But that will probably be done in May. That also means that I'm not gonna be doing any video videos in March or April. Mainly because... I'm still gonna be doing Let's Plays, but no real official videos. It's mainly because I'm just gonna be rather busy both months playing Mass Effect! Okay. There's gonna be a bunch of Xenos in here. Probably should have healed before this. G or GG in StarCraft lingo. Not that I've ever played StarCraft. Can't even actually install that game, unfortunately. Okay, where is the damn Predator pistol? I know I'm probably gonna get attacked any time now. I don't care, I want... The Predator pistol is not here. Or maybe it's in a different part of the cavern or something. I don't know. Or I could have just not picked it up. But honestly, I never used it anyway, so it's not that big of a loss. Yeah, it was. It must have been back there, but... So what? I, I literally never used it. More jumping. Great. As we all know how much I love jumping. Still, I would like to have had that Predator Pistol if only for completism, but... Oh well. Missing that plus the disc. Okay, I now know that I cannot kill these things without taking a hit. Come on, heal up. And I automatically die. And yet it still made the sound of me healing. What are they doing, interpretive dance of my body? Okay, the interpretive dancing aliens. Alright. I know you're just supposed to run past them, but... I could really use the Sword of Gondor right about now. I just slaughtered those bastards. Let's see, do I remember where to go? Find the high ground. Ah! Yes, water will always stop you. Because it's magic water. It's not that heavy water from Earth, it's light water. And let's be using water softeners. Oh, that's just so lame. The lame jokes are fun. Well, that's a bad texture. Oh yeah, the uh, Pred Alien. What's funny is, uh, one of the Pred Aliens that you kill could very well be from the uh, expansion pack, which I may do a Let's Play on. I really don't want to. Though. It's not that I don't like it, it's just that I don't want to try to find it. Because I'm lazy like that. I don't remember where I'm supposed to go. Why would you expect me to know where I'm supposed to go in a game I've played a billion times? That's just crazy. But yeah, I really don't want to have to find Primal Hunt. I can think of at least three places where it could be. Right now. 
Uh, this was actually a pretty cool area. It's a very big area, too. Hey, look at that. The whole pipeline looks kind of cool. That's one of the things about this game. It's a much bigger game, just level size-wise, than uh, AVP1. It's really showing off just how big levels can get. Okay, I do not have any nets. Damn, that's not good. Simply because one of the things I used to love to do is when the pred aliens showed up, I always tried to steer them into the lava so they'd die, but I guess I can't do that. It's always fun to be able to do stuff like that, but that's not gonna happen. Hey, were you from Primal Hunt? Hopefully you were, because, well, you're taking a lot of damage. Oh, there's two of them. That was great. Well, even though they killed me, I respect them for it. Why? Because. If they were from the expansion pack, they should not be easily killed. And we don't have that far to go, so... What I'll, what I'll just do is I'll shoot a lot of them. With two different weapons. I'll wear them down with the uh, plasma caster. And then finish them off with the... Spear gun. Predator is just so cheap. I can heal and recharge energy on the fly. Or on the move, rather, since I'm not flying. A flying predator. But then again, I do remember they're making a uh, predator attack flyer bike thing as part of the Kenner line. Never actually got it, though. They also made a predator micro machine starship, which I never got either. And so we go down the Bridge of Death. And I feel it's pre-charge. There he is. And he's already too close to really... Yeah, he was too close. I'm glad I saved. Once again, usually I can kill these things in one or two hits, but... Since this is a Let's Play, it's good to die. Just so people can laugh at your feeble attempts at killing things. Okay, we got a pre-cooked charge. No, give it, give it my spear gun. Okay, there goes one. And there goes two. We gotta make this at least a little bit entertaining, don't we? Okay, so I got all my spears back, and I will stop to take some trophies! Or not. There we go. I will take the acid damage. These were mighty foes. A thought occurred to me the other day. What if Gotrek, this awesome dwarf from Gotrek and Felix, fought the Predator? How one-sided would that be? Would Gotrek kill him in one hit or two hits? I, mean, I may respect the Predator as a mighty warrior and all, but Gotrek from that particular series? Yeah, correct. Oh no. But at least that shows up and you can easily see it and wipe him out. But Gotrek was capable of killing a demon with an axe. So, yeah. The Predator is not standing that much of a chance, especially when a standard unaugmented human can kill one. It's not easy, but they still can. And then again, you can't forget that Gotrek has a magic axe! That is quite possibly... over... 9,000. When I finally do the review of Gotrek and Felix, I am going to use that clip. There are probably a few other Dragon Ball Z clips as well. It's because it's so fitting with what Gotrek can do. I mean, that magic axe is just epically awesome. I mean, it can kill demons, although I think they just killed the one, but seriously, though, anytime your axe can kill a demon, you know you're awesome. And that's a giant worm carcass. It'd be awesome if you could have fought one of those in this game, but alas, that was not to be. And I probably needed to go a different way. Did I? No, I didn't. There it is.
Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there he goes. It explodes, and somehow, hacking into this makes it work. I will heal myself at you! Actually reminds me of something that happens a lot in Kingdoms of Amalur. That's another game I've been playing recently. Honestly, it's really... I, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. But I'll forget to change the spell to, like, the lightning spell, which is really powerful. And so I will literally heal myself at enemies. That's so annoying. I'll heal myself at you! You shall pay by witnessing me heal in front of you. That can sound bad, I think. And I don't know if you can hear that, but there's a weed eater going on right outside my window. That's always splendid, isn't it? Hopefully you can't, but if you can, weed eating is going on outside my window. And it's very loud and annoying. And yes, I am going to check in here for any weapons, because I think there is something. There's a random skull. It's very low res. Why there's just a random skull sitting there, and what happened to the rest of the body? I don't know. Uh, well, I actually think we had to go down here anyway, just to turn that on. And probably... What? How does that explode? I want to know how these random electronics explode. It literally makes no sense. Now let's see. I think there's going to be a dropship. There is. A, this is a boss encounter. I know that. It's going to be a boss of some description show up. It's. It's going to. Maybe it's an exosuit. I don't remember. I just know that. I have a feeling in the force that a boss is going to be showing up. Closed door not in use? Okay. Oh, it's just a bunch of Xenos. Circle spray. Ah, oh, it's a big boss. Then. I will hurt myself at you, not T, I want a G! And the sound went out, and I died again. Why does the sound keep going out? It never did this in the Marine campaign. I mean, this literally makes no sense. Yes, we get it, they're gonna do interpretive dance over my body. Is the sound back? And no, it is not. Okay. I will be right back. And I'm back, and somewhat distressing, uh, my computer decided not to pick up my headphones, but then again, I did have the uh, headphones going into a USB hub. Maybe that's it? And now more yard noises have joined the fray, isn't that great? But you know what? I'm keeping on. Why? Because I don't give up. I know my microphone has got to be picking that up, because damn that's loud from here. Go away, loud lawnmower! Go away! Die, Xenos! Okay, where's my... I'll step! Alright, got him. There's nothing worse than killing a boss and then getting killed by the random foot soldiers. And of course I keep just recharging my energy instead of just G G G G G G G G G See? That's just so cheap. Killing the boss and then getting killed by a single standard Xeno. That does not seem fair at all. Wait, sounds like the lawnmower is getting closer. Way to ruin my recording, lawnmower. Yeah. That is just intolerable. Okay. Let's do this again. I want the. Predator campaign is over. I'm gonna 
do as much of the Elaine campaign as I can stand. I'm probably gonna die again. I can almost guarantee you that I'm gonna die again. So I'm probably just gonna alternate between the Elian and Turok. The Elian campaign and Turok. And I hit T again! Just mash the G key, but I think everything's dead, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, what do I do now? Okay, so this is already. I guess I have to go back down there and. Turn on the uh, or uh, and open the gate. And I think the lawnmower is gone now. Here's hoping. Oh wait, there's a dropship coming in. At least it sounds like one. Actually, wait a minute. If I'm not mistaken, we got to go back down here. Yeah, they just decided to blow up stuff for whatever reason. That's already done, so I, th I think we just wait for the dropship to go away. Not that the dropship was ever that much of a threat. I mean, come on, it's just a human dropship. What damage could it really do? Other than just blow open the gate. Yeah, way to go, dropship! You didn't kill me, but you just actually facilitated my escape. I can still kind of hear the lawnmower. It's out there, waiting for me. It's waiting. It's watching. Hey, it's a pellet sw Actually, that's the same exact. That predator looks awfully small. I mean, shouldn't you be seven foot tall? I guess I will deign to take that from you. Go away, lesser being. For I am Prince. Or the hunter formerly known as Prince. I forget exactly. Oh no, the lawnmower is coming back. It's coming back! Ah! Ivan is not reported? No, sir. He was a good man. It's an oddly British sounding kidding? Russian soldier. Damn it. My medicine. Cheating black market. The latest stuff is shit. Each batch is worse than the last. It's the adrenaline, General. It breaks down the doses. I'll get another. No. It will dull me. I must be sharp. General, I have a signal, but not one of yours. The frequencies and modulations are all wrong. It could be encrypted, sir. Pull out the team. I will buy you as much time as I can. How will you find the Predators, General? They will find me. See, he strikes a very heroic character, but... Unfortunately, we must kill him because he stole my mask! And when it comes to a Predator, there's nothing worse than that. It's kind of like stealing Arnold's father... It's kind of like stealing Conan's father's sword. Arnold's father's sword. Does that make sense? Probably not. But anyway, what does make sense is calling this episode to a close.